Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we're going to be talking about a science fiction drama film called Real Steel. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Charlie is a retired boxer who owes a lot of money to different people. This is partly because boxers have been replaced by robots in the arena, making him lose his job. He's also not very good with kids, trying to charge them $5 just to take a picture with his broken robot. He has a deal with the host, Ricky, who promises to pay him for fighting one of his bulls with Charlie's robot ambush. Not being happy with the pay, Charlie wants to fight Ricky's best competitor and bets him $20,000 if he wins. Now I understand why he owes so many people so much money. Charlie doesn't seem to be worried one bit as he showboats with his robot fighter. The gigantic bow charges at the robot, but Ambush manages to tackle it to the ground. The robot dodges the attacks easily and knocks the animal flying with an uppercut. Thinking that he has won, Charlie flirts with a pretty girl in the crowd, and before he knows it, the raging bull sends his robot flying, taking off one of its legs. Personally, I don't blame him for being distracted, as I would have probably done the same thing. The bull continues to dismantle his robot while Charlie begs the owner to stop the show. His robot fighter gets punished even more, and soon it turns into nothing more than a pile of scrap metal. Charlie tries to run away from the place before his bet can be collected, and meets two men who tells him that his ex-girlfriend just died. He must now attend court for the custody of his son, Max. Charlie clearly doesn't care too much for the boy since he's prepared to sign the papers releasing him to his ex-girlfriend's sister, Deborah. He changes his mind though when he sees how rich her husband is and decides to extort him for money in exchange for the custody, essentially selling his son to their family. However, the husband will be away this summer which prompts Charlie to charge him even more money to look after his own son for two months. Talk about being heartless. With new cash in his pocket, he quickly buys another robot called Noisy Boy from the black market. Charlie goes back home to his girlfriend, Bailey, and we find out that he owes her money as well. He tries to use his male hormones to seduce her, but he forgot he's not Wolverine anymore, and she tells him that she prefers money more than his chiseled body. Barbara and her husband drops off Max in the front door. And the kid is angry, not because his father just sold him, but that he didn't get part of that money. I guess the apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. Charlie receives the new robot and proceeds to open its shipping container. A gigantic machine in samurai armor walks out in a spectacular fashion. He tries to use the voice control, but the robot doesn't respond. Luckily, Max is also a super fan of robot fighting, and he successfully commands the machine by speaking Japanese, showing that it's not malfunctioning. It turns out that all they needed to do was reset the language function to English. Charlie rushes to put the robot in his truck and proceeds to head to the nearest competition, thinking that he'll definitely win this time. Max wants to tag along, but knew his father would refuse to take him, so he blackmails Charlie by stealing the key to the vehicle. Without any choice, Charlie begrudgingly takes his son along for the ride. They go to this underground fighting club, and Charlie talks to the organizer, Finn, and wants him to give the main fight to his robot, since it used to compete in the big leagues. Max tells his dad to take an undercar instead, as they never practiced using this robot before. But Charlie refuses and decides to go all in against the champion Midas. The fighters each take their corner, while the crowd goes wild with excitement. Charlie's robot charges forward and deals a devastating punch to its opponent. It continues to dominate the fight and trashes the other robot left and right across the stage. As the fight goes on, Charlie becomes overconfident, dropping his guard, and Noisy Boy gets punched across the ring. The opponent continues to pound his robot while he's unsure of what to do. He never familiarized himself with the robot's controls and is only now trying to look up the combinations. He ends up using the wrong move, which gives the opponent the chance to rip its arm off. Things only get worse from here as the champion knocks the head off Charlie's robot. Max blames his father for being reckless and never gave the robot a chance to fight since he didn't know how to use it properly. Charlie refuses to accept his own fault and blames the robot for being obsolete while venting at his son to get in the truck. Without any choices left, they decide to go to the scrapyard and scavenge for parts to make a robot for their next fight. They looked all over the place, but doesn't seem to find anything useful. Charlie tells Max to be careful as he goes near a cliff. 
Suddenly, the ground breaks loose and Max falls straight into the hole behind him. He gets pushed forwards by the falling ring, and just when he's about to fly over the walls, a piece of metal grabs him from the back. Charlie rushes towards his son and manages to carry him over to safety as the two embrace. Max examines the thing that saved him, and to his surprise, he finds the body of an older robot buried in the ground. The boy wants to bring it with him, but Charlie doesn't think it's worth the effort, and lets his son dig it out which probably took the whole night. Let's just say Max wasn't very happy with how irresponsible his father was. They bring the robot back to Bailey, and surprisingly, she manages to make it work. Bailey explains that it has a shadow function, which is why the robot always seems to mimic the movement of the person in front of it. While washing it clean, Max finds out the machine has a name called Adam. Max wants his father to put Adam in competition, but Charlie says that it's only a sparring robot, meaning that it can take hits, but not really deal any damage. Charlie takes his son to the robot fighting league and tries to get a sponsor for a new robot, but even his best friend refuses to invest in Charlie given his losing records. Feeling angry and hopeless, Charlie agrees to bring Adam to fight in the zoo where only the worst robots compete against each other. Max arrives at the junkyard and challenges the champion robot Metro, to which his owner bets a thousand dollars that the fight will not last more than the first round. The two robots enter the ring, and Adam gets pummeled by his enemy from the very start. Charlie tries to instruct his son on maneuvering the robot, but the boy's lack of experience results in Adam getting beat up repeatedly. Charlie wants to take over and survive the first round, but Max refuses and gets the robot knocked out by a devastating hit from the opponent. As the timer counts down, Adam miraculously stands up before the last second and manages to survive the first round, earning them a thousand dollars. The opponent wants Max to double or nothing, to which he agrees instantly at his father's dismay. Learning from his first round with Metro, Max tells his robot to backstep, creating an opening that was unexpected by the opponent. Adam then jumps with an uppercut, causing his enemy to malfunction and fall straight to the ground. The crowd cheers for their victory, and Charlie takes the money from the loser. While making some upgrades to Adam, Max suggests to his father to teach the robot how to fight by letting it copy his moves. Charlie hesitates as he hasn't boxed for a long time, and his last fight ended up with him losing. But after thinking about it overnight, he resolves to help his son by teaching the robot his moves. Their father and son teamwork results in their victory against tougher and tougher opponents in the underground fighting league, which also makes them a lot of money. Eventually, they become famous enough where the big fighting league offers them a fight against their national champion, Twin Cities. Before their fight, the owner of Zeus, Lemkova, wants to buy their robot for $100,000, to which Max refuses immediately. Charlie wants his son to take the offer, but Max is adamant that his robot is priceless and not for sale. Their fight begins, and the national champion marches towards the ring while the crowd cheers his name. Max is unafraid of his opponent as he showboats towards the stage as well. The two machines charge towards each other, trading blows as they punch each other repeatedly. Twin City begins to get the upper hand and push Adam towards the corner with his superior power and reach. Charlie has a difficult time countering their moves as they have two heads which grants them no blind spots. He eventually notices a weakness in the opponent's shoulder and manages to counterattack while pushing back. Adam stays close to the bigger robot, landing multiple body shots, and finishes off with a devastating uppercut that knocks the opponent onto its back. The crowd goes wild as the major underdog just defeated the national champion in a dominating fashion. Max, still angry that Limkova tried to buy his robot, challenges their team for a fight while the woman and her designer looks down in disapproval. As the two walk out of the building in victory, their celebration is ruined by the arrival of Ricky, who comes to collect the money owed to him by Charlie. The father tries to fight back, but gets beat up by the group as he tries to protect his son as well. They take all of their winnings and beats the father while the son watches. Realizing that the life he has is too dangerous for Max, Charlie decides to return him to his guardians ahead of time, which saddens Max greatly as he walks away in disappointment. Unsure of his decision to leave his son, Charlie returns to Bailey and looks for her advice. Charlie thinks that he's not good enough for his son, and argues that his foster parents have a lot of money. Bailey assures him that a father's love is more important than anything that money can buy, 
she encourages Charlie to have the courage to fight for his son. Moved by her words, Charlie goes back to Max and apologizes for what he has done. He also tells Max that he accepted the fight against Zeus, which makes his son smile again. They walk towards the ring as the crowd cheers for the underdog of the fight. Charlie looks to the side and sees that Bailey has come to support them, which brings a smile to his face. The music begins and Zeus enters the stage, marching towards the ring with menace. He charges and leaps onto the ring, towering over everything around him. The fight begins and the two moves closer, but Zeus lands a devastating punch which knocks Adam straight to the ground. He gets up slowly, but gets knocked down again after only two punches. Adam seems to have a mind of its own and continues to get up while being dominated by furious of punches from the powerful opponent that pushes it to the corner. Surprisingly, it manages to counter with an uppercut which stuns Zeus as it never saw it coming. Adam continues to fight back, but his opponent regains the upper hand very quickly and continues to land punches until the bell rings for the first round. Charlie rushes on stage and quickly repairs their robot with his son. The bell rings and Adam continues to fight off Zeus. Throughout the rounds, it begins to deal some damage to its opponent while taking a lot of beating in return. In round 4, Zeus forces Adam into a corner and pounds continuously, to which Charlie realizes that their voice control is damaged. Without any other options, Charlie decides to use the shadow function to finish the final round. They exchange blows at each other, but Zeus pushes Adam to the corner with a barrage of punches. While smiling, the main character dares his opponent to continue with the attacks. Zeus uses all its power to try and finish Adam, but slows down quickly as it loses its power from the exertion. Charlie takes this opportunity and launches a fury of counterattacks, pushing the enemy back as it appears to be paralyzed. Max looks at his father and sheds tears of joy as he sees Charlie regain his passion for boxing from his past. Adam continues to attack and manages to knock out Zeus with a devastating punch. It manages to get up but only to receive more punishment from Adam until the bell finally rings ending the fight. Although the judges gave Zeus the win after scoring, the crowd declares Adam as the people's champion. Charlie cheers with his son in victory as the audience chants their names. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.